Okay, I have a Lena here, and um, I'm going to work with her a little bit and talk about um, dogs who are less confident that need you to uh, build up. Uh, most of my dogs aren't like this, uh, but if you have a dog that uh, you've gotten from a, a rescue situation or a situation where they didn't get quite as much uh, socialization, or maybe just a dog that is uh, genetically more cautious. Because they, I mean, dogs can be born just like people with more anxiety. Um, and so uh, this can give you some tools on building a dog up. And with a dog um, like Lena, who is less confident, I have done a lot of confidence building with her and the fact that I have to watch myself and I can't, uh, I haven't been correcting her as much when she jumps up on me or when she gets pushy because right now I'm taking, I'm trying to build her up and anything I do that's a correction is really traumatic for her. Uh, so I have to I have to do um, opposite of my natural instinct, which is to make them stop it. You know, don't do that. That's driving me crazy. Whereas her, I have to let her do it and then um, maybe redirect her by asking for a different behavior uh, without any kind of any kind of correction, if, if at all possible. Even if I correct the other dogs, and Jazz is really pushy. So Jazz can get into trouble, even now, for being pushy. And so if I fuss at Jazz, it makes Lena a little upset. So she's going to have to learn um, that it's not directed at her. And I try to, try to make sure that she understands that by praising her and asking her to do something else and then telling her what a good girl she is. So uh, we have come a long, long way. She's doing dramatically better. And um, I want to show you some techniques that you can work with with a shyer dog. Uh, if you've got a dog that's really, really shy, like uh, or or fearful, uh, and maybe showing some aggression because of fear, if they like food, and I've got some ham and some hot dog cut up here, if they like food, you can you can just toss treats. And let them just go eat the treat. When they eat, give a little click. So they start associating this click with with the treat, but they don't have to take it from you. So this is Lena will take a treat from me. But if you take if you have a dog that's coming from a really uh, lack of, of any human contact situation, a lot of rescues, extreme rescues come from places like this. You just toss treats and you click when they eat it. So that they start associating a good thing with the click, and they don't have to really interact with you. And soon they'll start looking at you, and they're like, "Wow, this is kind of interesting." And when they look at you, give a click, and then toss on the tree. So they don't have to make direct eye contact, but they just need to look in your direction and kind of be interested in what's going on over here. I tossed the tree over here I need to get. Okay. She looked at me. I'll give her a treat on the floor. And you would just do this for as long as it took to get that dog where it was comfortable just getting treats off the floor. And then when the dog is comfortable getting treats off the floor, you might offer it to them like this. And if they don't take it, just drop it right in front of them. And so they would pick it up and you would click when they eat it. And so that they get used to the clicker. Look how her tail is really low. She's low tail wagging. She's very submissive to me. Um, she doesn't, she see her tail coming up a little bit. I'm going to click for that because I want her to start getting more confident and, and not worrying so much about what exactly I want. She overthinks things really bad, like all poodles. And she's too worried about, you know, oh, I want to do it right and I want to do it perfect. And so, um, I'm trying to get her past that too and to get her to experiment and to try different things like 
I'll click for that. She laid down and she's calm and she's being good. So I'm going to give her a click for that. And you can just shape behaviors like this. Um, and uh, see what they give you. And just get them used to the whole idea of the clicker and treating. And, you, and it's, called, it, it would, it's called loading the clicker. So that uh, when you give them a, a, a click and a treat, you're loading the clicker. So that they start associating, this click means I'm going to get something good to eat. Now, she's not doing really anything that I want, so I'm just going to ignore her a little bit and see if she'll lay it down. There we go. Good girl. You can build a lot of behaviors just by shaping things that they already do. Uh, Jazz, I talked to Bow because she just does that automatically when she's happy. So I was able to click and teach her to bow. Lena likes to walk on her hind legs. So that's going to be our treat, our, our trick. I'm not going to give her anything for standing up. I'm going to see if she'll do what I would like again. Mm -hmm. She hates her rubber bands. They itch. Good girl. Now why use a clicker? With a shy dog, I use a clicker a lot because uh, a lot of times just verbal praise will make them either get stressed or get ooey and wiggly and oh my gosh, mommy's so happy with me and I'm just so happy and we just lay over on our back and we just show our belly and we just, oh my goodness. So it's often better with a, a shyer less confident dog to use the clicker and to not pet them as much so uh, it, it also it builds them so it keeps from distracting them because they get really distracted very easily so i'm going to see if she'll do it again I'm intentionally not looking at her because I'm not trying to build eye contact right now. So I'm just watching her out of the corner of my eye. I'm just letting my peripheral vision see what she's doing. And I'm rewarding her for that. So you want as little eye contact as possible when working with a really, really shy dog. Leah's not that shy, but this is for tips for people who have a lot more work to do than I have with her. Now she's giving me the behavior over and over. She really likes these pieces of food. Good girl. Now I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to start working eye contact with her. So I'm going to start looking at her and see if I can get her to look at me. She looked up at me. I immediately clicked and I gave her a treat. I need to pull your hair out of your eyes. She's not making as good an eye contact as I would like. She's kind of looking over my shoulder. But she's at least bringing her head up. So I'm going to take what I can get. See if I can get her to look directly at me instead of over my shoulder. That's better. Good girl. Good. That was pretty. Oh, that's good. I made a little noise with my mouth to try to get her attention a little bit.
Good. My ham pieces are a little bit big. It's cube ham. It's for like um, making a uh, omelets. That's it. I lost my mind there for a second. So it's already cut up. That's a pretty watch me. Oh, see? See what happened when I talked to her? She broke eye contact and she was going to belly over. That's why talking will often cause more problems than you need. I don't want her to lay on her belly. She does that far too much, so I'm going to not reward that. That's better. She's still looking kind of down and to the right of me. I used her name. I'm going to see what I can use with her without sending her into a grovel. While she's doing it, I'm saying, watch me in a really soft voice. was uh -uh, very, very gently to her and she backed off and lay down. You have to always use the commands in a tone and in a way that is correct for each dog. You do not want it. What I would use with Jazz is completely different absolutely opposite of what I need to use with Lena. Watch me. Building time. Watch me. Watch me. Good. Good girl. Way to go, baby. Watch me. She's very, very bright. Yes, that is exactly what I want. The treat doesn't have to come right with the click. I'm going to turn away from her and not look at her when she does that. And let her know that I'm not going to play the game if she does this. There. Good job. I like it when you do that. That's much better. Thank you. Very pretty. She's making very good eye contact now. Good girl. Good watching. Yes. Yes. Yes, I like that. I like you watching me. I do. I'm going to give her some treats without clicking. Because I think she knows what I want now. Good girl. Watch me. 
Yes. Yes. Good. Good girl. Good watch. Good girl. Good watch. Good girl. Good watch. Good girl. And I'm going to end on that.